Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is font manipulation. When you open up your drawing, you're going to see um, options like this. And if you want to add a font, the first thing you're going to do is go to this text box option. Okay, and you're going to open up your text box anywhere on the page. And then you're just going to type what you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is type the name of the person that I, that is the author of the book I'm choosing. Um, and in doing so, you're going to get something like this. Now, the first thing I notice is that I don't like the way the names separated. So I'm just going to click here and here, and I'm going to hit the enter button on my keyboard in order to move the fonts around. Then I'm going to select the font and here is where you can begin editing the style of your font. So I want it to look a little bit different. This is where you would change your font effect. Now this is an artistic project so the font that you could choose is whatever you'd like. Um, so I'm gonna say I like this Meriwether font a lot. I think that's interesting. Um, but in official papers, you would always use 12 point Times New Roman. Now, when I say 12 point, this font is too big to fit on that book. So I need to make it smaller. So I'm going to take this down to a 10 point font. And I don't really like that it's all over on the left side. So I'm going to go over here to the align tab and I'm going to center align it. Now that looks a lot better to me. Then I'm going to click the whole box and drag it over to my book. You see that red line that pops up? That tells me that my font is centered on the book. This button up here allows you to turn your font. So I can turn this any way I want it to go, okay? The degrees that you see pop up, those numbers that are moving, that's telling you how much of an angle you've turned it at. All right now you can go into other things up here I like this font black but let's say I wanted her middle name to be bright red well I would go to text color and turn it bright red and let's say I also wanted that to be highlighted so I wanted to have a background color and I want that background color to be light pink well now there it is um, let's say I need to go back and do it all again because I don't like that um, I can either change it here or I can hit control and Z, control and Z, and it should be good to go. Okay. Um, that is how I did all of these fonts on here. Okay. When you go into your font options, if you hit more fonts, it'll give you a huge list of fonts that you can choose from. And you could pick any kind of fonts out of these lists. Um, and then they'll appear over here in the My Fonts section, and then you can go back and use them. But that's really how all of this has been edited. So that's your first idea about fonts. Awesome.